Israel and Hamas have agreed to free Palestinian prisoners in exchange for an Israeli soldier who was captured in a tunnel raid near Gaza five years ago. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said he hoped that Staff Sergeant Gilad Shalit would return to Israel within days. Hamas's leader Khaled Mashal responded from Damascus. He said more than 1,000 Palestinian prisoners would be set free in the exchange. Here on the streets of Gaza City, the reaction was strong, immediate and overwhelmingly positive. People came out onto the streets in large numbers, cars going up and down the road honking their horns as mosques blared from the loudspeakers that this was a victory. Hamas is saying that this shows that negotiations achieve nothing, that it is resistance, resistance against Israel in their terms, that has secured this release of Palestinian prisoners. Internal Palestinian politics of this are also important. Leaving aside Israel, it was only just over two weeks ago that the Palestinian president Mahmoud Abbas of Hamas's rival Fatah was standing at the United Nations General Assembly in New York pitching for Palestinian statehood for membership of the United Nations. Now Hamas has, whether by design or coincidence, only shortly after that moment, swung the spotlight back onto themselves, saying this is a tangible result for our approach for resistance against Israel. This is Stephen Farrell for the New York Times in Gaza City.